atmosphere, sellout crowd, the way the state has embraced Mississippi State. They are the second best team in the nation, bar none, because I've played just about everybody but Arkansas and Missouri in this conference. We still have our work cut out, but Mississippi State thoroughly took us out of everything that we wanted to do. Give them a lot of credit. In the second quarter, when we made the game a little bit ugly and got it down to seven, they scored the last two baskets before half. I thought that was a turning point because we had actually fought, got back in it where we could have just caved in right then, but no. We felt the second half, you see the shooting percentages, you can't score enough. They went about five or six minutes without scoring also, and the score just fluctuated 16, 17, 18. Neither team doing much. But we were shooting 26%, making some bad turnovers, and it, it was just not good. But Mississippi State is a well-rounded team. They are better than they were last year because they're a better offensive team, and that's the key. They made it hard on us running some stuff. When we did run some stuff, we missed some shots early in the game. McGowan changed a lot of shots far. We bricked a couple of shots, and that's that's all on us. She's a force in there, and Vivian's is Vivian's. Blair does her thing. Johnson had a very good game because Johnson was the one responsible for shutting down Danny Williams. So give her a lot of credit. Open it up for questions. Coach, when they had the 11 nothing run to start the game, what was your message to your team during the timeout? Did I get we've, we've seen we've seen runs before. We've made runs. They've made runs. I think they hit three threes during that period. And there's not much you can say. It wasn't what we were doing wrong as much as what they were doing right. We missed a couple shots. They hit three pretty wide open threes, and then they had a steal and a fast break, and we missed a couple of easy shots. There's not much you can say there. If you looked at the ball game last night, Michigan State was down 27 points and came back and won the game. And we've done it before. We did it last year in the NCAA tournament, down 21 in the fourth quarter. So this game isn't going to make or break us as far as a win or a loss. I was disappointed because this is the only time this year we have played bad on the road. But Mississippi State had everything to do with that. Mississippi State had everything to do with it. Your, your decision not to start uh, Carter? They were late to a team function. And there's nothing major, but everybody has rules. They were just late to a team function. And uh, they were coming in early in the ball game, regardless what the score was. They're good kids. They just finished their two best practices of the year both of those two kids. And Kyla was coming off of a poor game against Florida. She responded, had two good practices, but uh, I'd like to see one of your sports writers try to score on McGowan. It's kind of hard to do. As someone that's, that was with Big for a long time, and you kind of saw him at the beginning of this journey here, uh, just can, can you put in perspective just how tough this has been for him, and I guess, What's your thoughts on, on what he's accomplished here? Well, first, like Vic and I was talking after the game, he was saying how tough it was for him to have to play me. It's not near as tough for the guy that has the better team. <laughs> so he's got the better team right now, okay? But remember, when we won that national championship, we got beat by Baylor three times. And then all of a sudden, we won the one that counted the fourth one. And right now, there's no weakness with that. I'm happy for Vic, but I'm happy for my team. Andrea Howard played her butt off, okay? She, uh, we were able to get Vivian's in a little bit of foul trouble, because that was about the only one we could get in foul trouble, because McGowan was controlling the paint in there. And uh, 
Edmund Howard. Carter did her thing. But that's what we had to do because we couldn't get Danny Williams open. Okay? If you can't get open to run our set offense, we're not a motion team. Okay? We're not a weak team. Our defense was not very good. Okay? That's something that's been an Achilles heel for us all year. And you could say, well, back when we were winning the national championship, we had different personnel back there. I've got more of an offensive personnel now than I don't have the defensive personnel. Lumpkin gives me some pretty good defense. Howard gives me a double-double every game. She plays the game so hard. And I think she's one of the most underrated players in the country by just how hard she plays. Kennedy is Kennedy, and that's where she is. She's the best freshman in the country, but she's got to be the best freshman in the country on both ends. And I hadn't seen a whole lot of great scoring guards that were also good defensive players. But it's our job in the next three years to make her a little bit better. Coach, you mentioned uh, the job that Roe and, and Mississippi State did on Danny. Uh, Coach Schaefer's commented that his team this year has not been the defensive team that he's wanted. Uh, when you've been reviewing tape with them in preparation for today, how, how have you seen them improving defensively, or, or are they are they getting to where? They're getting better. They rose to the occasion because Dillingham was a great defense she could shut you down. Well, Rowe probably hadn't done that as well as Vic would have wanted all year. But he's got her attention now. That's going to give her a whole lot of confidence on what she just did. But the thing is, we got to screen better to get our players open. We did not screen well, and we did not cut well enough to get open. And that's on us. And then in the second half, Danny had some great looks. They just didn't go down. It's just a bad day. Anything else for Coach Clark?